They go, oh, they're sick. They're convulsing. Probably some of a rabies or something. Weaponized rabies. They strapped them all down as these special forces guys were murdered. Then they sent guys in in hazmat suits to spray bleach all over the walls and take them out. And before they did that, they sucked all the blood out of the troops. And you know what they were going to do. They're using their blood as growth medium. They literally took the troops and sucked their blood out for growth medium. <laughs> you want to compromise with these people? You think they just use fetal cells to grow vaccines? They use the troops' blood and organs. You're nothing to them, and the sooner you figure that out, the sooner we're going to turn this around. And I, he goes, what do I do? He goes, Rick Perry's really good. You know, he believed in all that. He didn't. He goes, but I know a lot of this is true because I saw it. You saw it, didn't you? But what? You know, give him shots, watch him die. It's loving. It's loving. So take all the shots, okay? The government wants to help you. Let's talk to Kim. Kim, you've got four minutes. Tell your story of what happened to your daughter, where you're at, and how it all unfolded. Go ahead. Um, starting from starting from the beginning or where we're at now? No, no, because some stations just joined us. Start over oh. what your daughter, what happened. Okay. Um, my daughter was um, vaccinated by the MMR vaccine, um, the booster. Um, within a couple hours, she started walking like she was drunk. She could not walk a straight line. Um, and it, this continued for a few weeks. And, you know, honestly, I was so young. I, I didn't really connect it to the shot, unfortunately. Um, it was, it was looking back now that I've seen, you know, it, it started within a couple hours. Um, she, this, it continued on for weeks. Um, she'd be walking and then just fall over on the ground. Um, and let me guess, the hospital didn't even tell you to give her Benadryl or anything to reduce swelling or anything. They just said, we don't know oh, what's wow. happening. Yeah. No. And like, I we're giving your daughter a gift. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Sure. And I took her back to the doctor and told him what was happening. And, you know, they had no explanation. They didn't. They didn't even, it was almost like they were just ignoring what I was saying. And so um, she started complaining of double vision. Um, you know, I'd be talking to her and she'd be like, Mommy, I see a whole bunch of you. And, you know, I, I took her back to the doctor for that. And no putting her on ice. No giving no her nothing. Benadryl. No nothing. No when nothing. they knew full well what they just done, but they couldn't right. diagnose it right. or they would admit they did it. So they sat there and watched her lose her IQ. But tell us what happened oh, next. Absolutely. absolutely. And so, um, you know, I started, she'd go into these spells where she'd just stare and I'd try and talk to her and she, oh wouldn't, she wouldn't even talk back to me. Um, this continued for months, about two months. Um, I, I took her to the doctor. I took her into the ER for the, for the um, double vision, they all ignored me. Honestly, they ignored me. After two months, um, I, I, I looked in at her, and she was um, completely slumped over. She couldn't move. She couldn't even pick up her own head. Um, and But she was complaining of headaches. And so I took her into the hospital, and they were trying to say she had meningitis and all of these crazy things that she did not have. The test came back negative. Of course. Um, and she had massive brain swelling. They had to put her on steroids to get the brain swelling to stop. We were in there for weeks. and But it, 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 it slowed it down, didn't it? Yeah. It, but see, they could have given you that minutes after, but they can't admit they just did it. So they send you exactly. off and yeah. for liability. I mean, these people, these doctors and nurses are murdering people's brains. You know, a lot of people okay, die. Criminal. I mean, just search woman dies after flu shot, boy dies after flu shot, boy dies after uh, MMR shot. It's happening all mm -hmm. the time. It is happening all the time. And, you know, my, my daughter was one of those people. And her life has been changed forever. Um, this is too powerful. We're skipping the break. The money doesn't matter. Can just skip the break. Continue, ma'am. Go ahead. You. Thank you. Um, before this happened, 
she was a happy, um, thriving little girl. She had friends. She had fun. Um, she, she did excellent in school. Granted, she didn't have a lot of schooling under her belt um, because she was young, but she was doing wonderful. She was such a sweet, happy girl. And it, when this happened, it felt like when I left that hospital, my daughter died, and I have someone else now. No, that's what they did. They, they, they gave your daughter a partial lobotomy, and uh, uh -huh. they do that to little babies every day. They do it to little girls, yeah. little boys. They sterilize them with the Gardasil, and it's all on record. But it's so uh -huh. horrible, the public can't admit it. And even when doctors get brain-damaged children themselves, they won't admit right. it, most of them. But let me tell you, most doctors I know and nurses, they pressured me three times to give shots, even though the doctor we have is a listener and a good lady. And, but it's such a cult from the hospital management, and the nurses would always go, we don't give our kids it either. We, we know right. it causes autoimmune stuff, but we get fired if we don't push it. And we need, this is, because all we're talking about is gay, lesbian, black, white, you know, uh, blah, 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 Michelle Obama's arms. While meanwhile, they're doing this to everybody, and it tears my guts out, and, and, but also sends me into a rage, because here's the deal. They're now beginning, for the first time ever in California and New York, actual forced inoculations where they're not just lying and saying it's the law to show their criminality it's the law this august to get vaccinated there's 50 vaccines by law you've got to get show up at zilker park in austin to get your free shots parents prevent disease and and people will even collapse there or they'll go oh they just got scared by the shot my daughter's having a convulsion 10 minutes after well that did we don't know what that is blood's coming out their nose out their ears you know that's a gift. That's the gift of the new world order. It's a yeah. sacrament. And, and, I'm, and I'm not trying to be sarcastic with you. Your pain really gets to me, but, but I, I'm being cynical with dark satire back at the people that, that go along with this. Uh, and I mean, I know medical doctors who literally I've run into, and then I knew years ago, let's just say connected to family, who, who literally hate my guts because I talk about this, and they go, "Well, there are some problems, but 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 problem, you know, problems uh, are are outpaced by benefits, cost benefit analysis." But that's not even true. And they go, "Well, don't you believe in the science of inoculation and acquired immunity?" And I go, "Yes, I know it's 500 years old. I know it started with pox. I know how it was. How they took the pustules with a toothpick and shove it under the skin. <coughs> I get all that." Give someone a lesser exposure so they don't get the full exposure. Give it to them when their immune system's up, not down. You'd usually get it when you had a bad immune system, and it would kill you. So give it to someone when they're doing well. Still, though, the pox treatment could kill people sometimes. It was a cost-benefit analysis. But pox out of somebody's pussy arm put into your son or daughter so that they don't get it when they're sick and then die is not genetically engineered super weapons by a global government known for doing 100 years of secret testing and literally creating Nazi Germany as a testing ground and then destroying it, who are involved in depopulation and openly saying babies are like mackerel. I have articles here today where they're now coming out saying it's end-of-life planning to kill your, your, your unborn child or your baby. I, I mean, that's how, there it is right there on screen. This, this is the type of stuff that we're talking about. And... When you're faced with something this evil, this over the top, by the authorities, it's hard for the average person to come to grips with it. I believe in the science of inoculation. The elites get very special, proprietary, multi-thousand dose, made in incredibly clean laboratories. They get real vaccines. And that's come out in the news. The British elite, the German elite, the German government, and the German military heard about it and said, we're not taking it unless you give us that. Uh, this is the issue. Then they lie to you and say, oh, we've cleaned up the vaccines. No, they haven't. No, they haven't. It's not cleaning them up. It's done on purpose. Bayer put HIV and hepatitis in the factor eight and knew it and shipped it out to hundreds of thousands and killed them. Okay, and, and that all came out in court, folks. That's on the news. They wanted to kill people. They knew and did it. They want to kill you. They will kill you if they can. But they don't want you to know how you got killed. They want to hit you in 20 years you, down the road you drop with debilitating diseases. They know what you're going to get from what they've done to you. They develop the treatments, not the cures. 
And then while testing all this stuff on you, they're developing life extension technologies for themselves. And I've given you the entire paradigm of the enemy. Your daughter is not dead. Her soul is there. She can be uh, taught to grow again. I would limit the television screen time. I would play her classical music. Uh, I would uh, pray for her. I would take her to the top of clear, clean mountains, and she will. She she can come back uh, from it. Your daughter is not dead. They wish she was, uh, but uh, God bless you, and I really appreciate your call. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And sometimes I go off when I get a caller like that for 20, 30 minutes because, ladies and gentlemen, this is so serious. Talk about dehumanization. Police shoot helper dog instead of... Uh, they shoot labs, you name it all the time. They'll come out with their tail wagging, they'll shoot them. In some cases, the dogs are growling, and I get why somebody shoots a big, scary dog, but it's not a bull mastiff. Uh, it's not a, um, you know, it's a pit bull or something. It, 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 they shoot chihuahuas and stuff as a default. You should be a little bit more manly uh, if you want to be a cop or womanly, Valkyrie-like. Uh, but here's Jakari Jackson's report on this event that happened a few days ago from InfoWars Nightly News. Police shoot um, a service dog. Uh, here's the report. It's a fat lab barking. You obviously tell that dog's not a threat. I mean, the cop should just yell and say, get out of here. Should kick it in the head, whatever. At some whatever. point, we've all been annoyed by a barking dog or a dog on the loose. And sometimes police are called in to handle these situations. But is this the type of police response that you would want to happen in your own front yard? And yes, once again, those dogs should have been under the direct supervision and control of their owner. But with a modern officer carrying things such as pepper spray, was lethal force really necessary? And let's stay on this topic of lethal force. What if the gun was turned the other way and the officer was in the crosshairs? That's exactly what happened right here in the state of Texas. Sheriffs looking for marijuana burst into a man's home and ran straight into gunfire by a startled resident, killing an officer. The resident was able to avoid a murder charge, but it goes to show that over-aggressive police tactics can backfire on officers. Over-aggressive tactics such as kicking a woman out of her own home. A woman was displaced from her home so a SWAT team could perform reconnaissance, much like we saw during the Boston bombing. But to give credit where it's due, not all officers are out in the streets behaving badly, such as in New York where they just busted up a New York crime syndicate with joint agency cooperation. So if we have more stories like this, police going after real crimes and going after the real perpetrators and not harassing the general populace, we can break free of this current police state. You can find more reports at InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. All right, that's Jakari Jackson. That's just a minute and a half of the 30-minute news transmission every night, 7 o'clock central, prisonplanet.tv. I've got a Leanne McIntyre report I've got to get to, but I don't think we have time to air it right now. I'm going to air it later in the broadcast because it's so important. Uh, it deals with uh, a dumpster diving professor who's trying to teach us that we should live with nothing so that the globalists can have bigger red carpets, bigger palaces, and live like kings while telling us we can't have air conditioning or over a 250-square-foot home so that more of what we make can be paid in taxes. That's what the austerity uh, is all about. That's going to be coming up uh, after Dr. Paul Craig Roberts leaves us. We're going to play that with Gerald Salente uh, and talk about this artificial scarcity economy that is Agenda 21 worldwide um, grid. Briefly... Super male vitality, folks, is the number one item that people reorder. The highest level of reorder for super male vitality. That's a fusion of, what is it, eight top herbs from organic, concentrated form. And you've heard the right reviews. We got 15% off going on super male vitality from InfoWarsLife.com. We brought you the best available, period. I said, no expense shall be spared. I want the best, Dr. Group, And it's blowing people away. The problem is we're going to sell out at the rate we're selling it in about four or five days, and then it might be as much as two weeks before we get more because they're, they're waiting for one other herb to come in because we don't have the dry herbs. We have the raw herbs to concentrate it. So if you want to get it, order it now. People just love this 15% off. And I'm hurting myself doing it, but I, I just it funds the operation as well, so you win, win, win. There's no way you can lose purchasing products at InfoWarsLife.com. And we have the new Molon Labe shirt that I think is the best-looking T-shirt we've ever had. Come and take it with the... Um
Greek, Spartan, and the M4s on the front, Infowars.com on the back. That's InfoWarsStore.com, InfoWarsStore.com. And your purchase is yep. vital.